Welcome back guys, you are watching Brothers Together. I hope all of you are preparing in a highly focused manner in order to secure a seat in your dream college through KCT 2023. The intention of making this video is that many people who are watching this video or from our community were continuously asking me through my Instagram handle and through the Telegram group also regarding a perfect timetable or an ideal timetable for the remaining 12 to 13 days which would help us utilize the remaining time to its maximum. So this is what all students look forward to when there are very less days left for the exam. So all of us look forward to an ideal timetable or an ideal routine which will help us utilize the remaining time to the maximum. And uh, I thought of making a video in which I'll tell you how did I uh, prepare in these last 12 to 13 days and what was my timetable during that time and how did that help me secure a seat in my dream college by getting a rank of 2233 in my KCT 2022. So currently I'm pursuing my first year computer science engineering in SJC in Mysore. And with all that experience which I have had in these last 20, 12 to 13 days, I just think that this, this video is going to be definitely informative and in the same way it will help you a lot during this phase of your preparation which becomes the most important phase. Before starting this video, I would like to give a disclaimer kind of thing, okay. So as uh, Murunal Kutteri who was an All India topper for NEET in NEET 2021, he has he had quoted a beautiful quote during that time. He had said that you should be brave enough to uh, experiment what works out for you rather than what works out for somebody. So that is the main uh, gist of this video because in this video when I will be narrating my uh, timetable or my uh, the timetable which I follow during my last 12 to 13 days that doesn't mean that should work out for you but the thing is you should be able to take all the necessary takeaways from my timetable and prepare a new and your own timetable that will suit your routine that will suit your personal life and in the same way help you get a seat in your dream college. So that is what I uh, thought of saying before starting this video because blindly following what I did also is a mistake because you will have your unique way of going through that thing and uh, I just wanted to give some uh, add-ons to it so that uh, you will be able to understand uh, how, what did I do during these 12 to 13 days and inculcate the same in your routine for these last 10 to 12 days which will help you a lot because uh, I have had the experience of uh, doing it and I have reaped the results of it too. So that is the intention of making this video and I am able to do it. I am pretty sure that even you guys will be able to do it and in the same way come out with flying colors in your KCT 2023 exam. Yeah, with that note, now let's start this video. When it comes to my timetable uh, or else my routine during the last uh, 10 to 12 days, which uh, when the last 10 to 12 days were remaining for my KCT 2022 exam, I was just uh, in a strong mindset. I was in my own zone of preparing seriously for my exam, which will help me secure a seat in my dream college so that uh, all the distractions were out of my path and I was in a highly focused manner working for a seat in my dream college. So when it comes to the routine part of it, I used to wake up at around 5 a.m. So this is where I would like to uh, give a stop guys because this becomes really important. Some people will be uh, in a position wherein they will be able to grasp concepts easily when they wake up early and in the same line it is equally uh, good and it is equally fine if you are someone who who thinks uh, reading overnight is a good thing or else if reading overnight helps you grasp the concepts or understand the concepts better in a better manner then it is completely fine so this is where the distinguish uh, this is where the difference comes so some people will be good at uh, grasping concepts during early morning and some people will be good at doing that in uh, during the late night times. So that is your wish. That is completely your wish. You need not follow me completely. So that is what I am telling you. I just made this video in order to give you some uh, insights about what worked for me. That doesn't mean that it should work for you. But the thing is, uh, the main gist of it, the hours of study or the hours of hard work required remains constant, guys. So it's like a uh, law in physics where things remain constant. In the same manner, even if you modify the timetable a bit in which in a way which will work out for you, the amount of hard work or the amount of uh, study required remains constant. I used to wake up at around uh, 5 to 5.30 a.m. and I used to uh, fresh myself up and in the same way I used to pick up the subject which I think was 
a little bit difficult for me or uh, which holds a lot of importance in my uh, KCET 2022 exam. So when uh, during early morning, I am someone who loves uh, doing mathematics. So that is why I was just taking mathematics and around uh, from 6 a.m. to around 8.30 a.m. I used to take around two to three chapters. I used to solve all the NCRT exercise questions because now when there are very less days left, uh, everybody should be in a position to master NCERT at least. Yes, guys, you heard it right. If you are someone who haven't uh, prepared yet or else if you are in a position, if you think who you haven't prepared anything for KCT 2023 yet, so this is a pro tip for you. At least try to master NCERT now. Even if everything isn't possible, go with the high weighted chapters and you will be golden. I used to take uh, two to three chapters and then I used to uh, solve all the NCRT exercise questions. So then I uh, go with 12th chapters or the second PU chapters. Uh, for board exams only, we would have uh, solved everything at least once or twice. So that wasn't an issue for me. In around one hour, I, I uh, was completing all the exercise questions. I was just grasping through them. And once I understood the method of solving it, I uh, wasn't wasting a lot of time in arriving to the final answer. So this is also an important thing. When you understand the method and when you know that you will be able to reach to the final answer, then you can just move on to the next thing. Cause there is very less time left. Uh, I used to do maths like this and one uh, as soon as one hour gets over, I used to uh, just go to the previous year questions. I have been telling the importance of uh, previous year questions when it comes to an exam like KCET. So I hope all of you are uh, keeping in mind the same thing and I hope all of you are getting yourselves familiar with the previous year questions. Cause even if the questions change, the model remains the same. And then I was just going through some previous year questions, which would, uh, which was giving me a lot of confidence. Uh, so that when a day is started well, then you are half done. So with that reason, I was just waking a little bit early and in the same way, 6 to 8 or 8.30 was my mathematics slot. And I would like to suggest all of you who are good at waking up early or uh, working uh, hard during the early morning times or else studying during early morning then I would like to suggest you to keep a slot there and keep a slot there for the subject which you feel when I was uh, studying for my KCT exam the resilience and the hunger to get a seat in my dream college was waking me up yes guys even if you develop a strong mindset wherein you are adjudged in order to get a seat in your dream college and if you uh, direct your mind through the same path then you'll automatically get that ability to wake up early and to work on yourselves so this is what i thought of telling during this point uh, after around 8 30 to 9 i used to have my breakfast and i used to have my bath also and uh, then again i would uh, i was just going to my second slot so my second slot was starting around 10 30 to 11 and in the same way it was going up to 2 or 2 30 pm yes guys this may feel uh, kind of uh, idealistic but still this was what i was doing during this last 10 to 12 days because you may feel that th uh, these many hours of study isn't possible and things like that but when there are only 10 days left this must be done there is no other way guys listen to me there is no other way than working hard during this 10 to 12 days many youtube channels may be misleading you uh, telling that uh, uh, follow these tricks you will definitely get a lot of marks without studying so that is definitely false if you ask me only hard and smart work can lead you to success yeah there around 11 to 2 30 i was taking a slot for uh, chemistry because i was good at chemistry and i uh, I felt pretty confident for chemistry because I had uh, did my chemistry well in my class 12th board exam and I even ended up scoring 100 in chemistry too. So uh, since I was always, uh, since I was kind of good at chemistry, I used to cover the theory concepts. I used to revise concepts in a nutshell. I used to just uh, go through the NCRT back exercises. So this is what people neglect and I would like to suggest you to not neglect this. Even in NCRT back exercise, some questions are directly picked from there. So you just go through it also and then uh, I used to solve some previous year questions again during this uh, three to three and a half hour slot and in the same way when I ended up being a little bit confident about chemistry I just uh, stopped there and I just took a break for myself and around 2.30 when you take a break it's obvious that you have to have your lunch and in the same way three to around uh, 4 to 4.30 you can just rest or you can take a power nap if you are someone who is 
habituated to get a power nap in the uh, afternoon and then from around 5 to 5 30 you can just start your third slot so i i used to start my third slot from 5 30 and it it was going till 7 30 because when you uh, are done with two uh, subjects which you feel a little bit difficult then the third one will be the easiest thing for you so you will be uh, good at at least one subject from this pcm so take that uh, subject for this slot now and around 5 30 to 7 30 you can go through it you can revise some chapters and you can apply the same thing by solving previous year questions that will certainly give you a lot of confidence yes guys you may ask how many chapters to deal in one slot i was just taking two to three chapters and the same way i was configuring it in a way that in among these two to three chapters which i was taking one would be easy one would be medium and one would be difficult so this is what i would like to suggest you also to do because when you take three difficult chapters at once or when you take three easy chapters at once that doesn't have any meaning literally yeah then when you are done with physics then at that point around 7 30 or around 8 uh, pm you will definitely feel a lot proud of you'll definitely feel proud of the work you have put in in the day and that will certainly boost your confidence like anything you may uh, you may think that all these things won't happen but when you try this and when you do this on your own you will be in a position wherein you will be able to experience this and in the same way you will be telling this actually worked and then when you are done with all the three uh, subject all the three core subjects in a day that confidence will let you revise quickly so once you are done with all the three slots have dinner around 8 to 9 pm i used to have my dinner and again from 9 or 9 30 i used to just uh, go through what things which i did today and i used to revise everything in a nutshell kind of thing and i used to go to bed around 10 pm guys so again this is where i would like to stop and i would like to tell you something so uh, having around seven hours of sleep is absolutely necessary so the when your uh, neighbor or when your relative or your cousin works for uh, 20 hours a day and just takes four hours of sleep that doesn't mean you should do it so sleep becomes really important during this phase and your health should have that most priority and to maintain good health sleep is a necessary thing and i hope you understand the importance of having at least seven hours of sleep if it is okay if you uh, reduce it by one or else if you have around six hours of sleep but reducing that further will lead to serious complications and i hope that isn't required too so if you use the available uh, time in this manner in a highly uh, organized manner i hope this is more than enough to crack kct 2023 guys you still have 10 to 12 days so 10 to 12 days is quite a big deal i hope all of you understand the importance of these 10 to 12 days and start working on yourself guys and will i be able to crack kcet so what if i my kcet didn't go well so these are questions which everybody experience and it is quite normal to have it and even i have had the same questions during this last 10 to 12 days but once you are done with your kct 2023 you will be proud of whatever you did during this 10 to 12 days so that is what you should keep in mind while you are preparing when you feel down when you run out of motivation i always say this to everybody so think of life after kcet so uh, if something requires just your complete effort your 110 percent effort in a span of around 10 to 12 days that will let you lead a successful life in the future and in the same way a uh, satisfactory life when it comes to your degree part of your life that should definitely drive you a lot guys should develop a temperament to trust your abilities and in the same way trust the process rather than running behind the results so results will automatically follow now is not it is not the time to think of uh, what rank you may get what college you may get so all those things uh, let that be kept for the time which will be available after kct exam now is the time to just work on yourself and study like anything guys and if you need any kind of help or any kind of assistance during this time then please feel free to contact me feel free to contact me personally through my instagram handle or through the telegram group i'll be always available to help you out and feel free to put it on the comment section too so that i'll be able to help you out through uh, a video or something like that i hope all of you are satisfied with the fact that it is still possible to crack kct 2023 if you give your 110 percent effort there are no shortcuts and only the smart work is kind of shortcut for success and 
doing smart work and how to analyze chapters while studying everything has been uploaded in my channel if you haven't viewed it yet then please check those videos out too i have already uploaded subject wise analysis of all the subjects i'll be coming up with many videos which in which i'll be discussing do or die chapters for all the subjects separately so to never miss out on that i would like to suggest you to subscribe our channel immediately if you haven't subscribed yet yeah with that note this is darshan escoda signing off guys thank you guys thank you we'll meet in the next video bye